This is incredibly sad for me to say, but it's simply time to move on. It's something I've been thinking a lot about, and as sad as it is, I, I just have to keep moving forward. Today is the day that PMB unboxing ceases to exist, and I finally rest and I watch the sunrise on a grateful universe. I'm just changing the channel name, it's really not that big of a deal, but I also wanted to share the 5 shoes that I'm looking forward to the most in 2022. And the list is in order, so make sure you stick around till the end to find out which one landed at number 1. Starting at number 5, I have the Free Run 5.0 obviously the 2022 version. I'm really curious to see where they take the shoe this year, especially after what we saw with the Flex Run 2021. I'm really hoping to see slightly more structured and overall better foam at the midsole, especially for the likely 100 US dollar retail price that the shoe will be at. One of my major complaints with the 2021 version is how soft the foam is, which makes sense for the type of experience that the shoe's trying to provide, but perhaps something slightly more structured could provide a similar enough experience while being more efficient. Something else that I would love to see, but it's most likely not going to happen, is that they changed the silhouette back to what it was a few years ago. I've come across a lot of people, including you guys, that agree with me in the sense that Nike has done better with the free run lineup in the past and with that I would love to see them add the free run 3.0 back to the lineup. It's almost been three years since they added one and I kind of miss it. Moving on to number four we have the Winflow 9. I am interested to see, although most likely also not going to happen, if they add React to the midsole on the Winflow 9. Something that I would love for them to keep is the two air zoom units at the midsole. These two units have been my favorite aspect of the Winflow 7 and 8, which we have tested here on the channel. So I really hope they keep them and they don't switch to a single one like in the Pegasus. I guess they could do a full length unit, but I think for responsiveness, it works better to have a separate one in the forefoot and another one at the heel and for number three on my list i actually didn't plan this but it's the renew run three the renew run two was one of my biggest surprises last year and i just want to see where they take this third generation when it comes to aesthetics and features i am hoping for a more significant change from the renew run two since the run two was very similar to the run one except for a slightly better upper but the aspect that i'm most curious about is where they're gonna take the renew midsole it, it was the same midsole that we saw on the Renew Run 1 so what history tells us right is that it's supposed to change on the third generation the Renew foam on the Run 2 and 1 is actually very decent so I'm just super curious to see where they're gonna go in order to try and make it better coming up at number two on my list is the Flex Run 2022 I really want them to keep the dual density foam it's amazing for wearing casually for a long time running errands or simply walking around. I am hoping for a bit of a change on the upper, however. A bit of a complaint that I have with the Flexron 2021 is that the upper doesn't feel as structured or supportive. So I really hope that with the Flexron 2022, they let loose a little bit on the whole barefoot-like feeling while providing a bit more structure. The shoe that I'm looking forward to the most in 2022 is the Pegasus 39. History shows that the Pegasus is due for a major change this year, whether it be aesthetically, feature-wise, or a combination of both. So it's going to be interesting to see, especially since this past year, they didn't really change the way that the shoe looked from the Pegasus 37. They simply updated the upper and they made the toe box wider this year, which I hope they keep on the 39 because I love the extra room at the toe box on the 38. I doubt this will happen, but they might introduce Zoom X to the midsole, maybe. I highly doubt it considering the fact we have the Vomero 17 also coming out, which has Zoom X as part of the midsole. So as much as I want to see it, I don't think it's going to happen. And that was my list for most anticipated shoes or shoes I'm looking forward to the most in 2022. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you have your notifications on because I'm dropping the first video of 2022 tomorrow and it's a special one that revolutionizes a tradition here at the channel. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching.